Let's talk, let's talk about practical experience, applicable experience, lived experience. Not, a, not that experience could be anything other than applied, practical, and lived. If you've never experienced something, then you haven't lived it, right? Theory, concepts, articles, publications, books, they all matter. They all contribute to one's knowledge and broadens their perspectives. But nothing can surpass that hands-on experience. You actually living a day or a week or a month or a year or maybe many years in a particular role, in a particular position, in a particular industry. You can read about technology leadership. You can talk about leadership. You can talk about management. You can talk about strategy. You can talk about vision. You can talk about building high-performing teams. You can read books about balancing budgets. You can do all of those things. And sure, will they give you more knowledge than you had before you started? Absolutely. In most cases, depending on who you read and what the publication is. But they fail and pale in comparison to actually living those truths, if you will. Leading a team, motivating people inspiring them, negotiating contracts and agreements, setting strategy and vision, inspiring people to come along, aligning right people with right priorities and resources, allocating resources. Unless you've done it, you can't really fully grasp as to what the possibilities are, what the challenges may be, and what the opportunities certainly are. And if you've never done it, it is very difficult for you to be able to convey that knowledge and share it with somebody else because, again, you haven't done it. So really focus on developing your experiences and developing the experiences of others. So if you're building a high-performing team, mix two types of folks, right? Those who have done something, they have the experience and knowledge, they've done this many times before, and those who are coming in new, but they're fresh-eyed and hungry and driven to do something different, to do something more. You bring them in, they will benefit from this group by getting new perspectives and new points of view that may challenge their well-established notions. And then this group will obviously balance, uh, will benefit from these well-established notions and experiences and running a project dozens of times. So you already know things that don't work and never work and will never work. And you also know things that are important to be mindful of as you move forward. So as you're building teams and as you're growing yourself, invest in experiences, read the books, watch the videos, get involved in all kinds of perspectives and conferences and events and meet people across a variety of industries and professions. But then look for ways to get exposed to those areas, to actually get involved, roll up your sleeves, and do the work. That is how you learn the most. No matter who you are and what your learning preferences or styles may be, doing something every single day for months or years will give you the value and experience that you're not going to get from an article or a book or a video. Think about where you want to be in five years. What do you need to do to have a shot of making that reality? Reverse engineer that process and then see what experiences are you missing and then how do you insert yourself intentionally in those spaces so that you can gain those experiences from the, for when the right time comes and that next opportunity presents itself. So focus on gaining and garnering more experiences in both life and profession. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. As always, if this is the first video you have seen, please consider subscribing below, sharing it with your friends and colleagues, and most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comments below on the topic I just covered. Have a great day.